Morning, beautiful people. Uh, as I indicated with yesterday's bread from the beach, uh, I wanted to look at uh, a psalm, Psalm 113, uh, just for some essential things about navigating what's going on in our society right now. So let me just read this with you beginning uh, from verse 4, Psalm 113. The Lord is high above all nations and His glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God? Who is seated on high? Who looks down on the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and with princes of his people. He gives a barren woman a home, making her the joyous mother of children. Praise the Lord. This affirmation in 113, Psalm 113, is just the affirmation about the nature of the God we serve and the things that He does out of that nature. You know, we're in a time where people are redefining language. Uh, just recently, our Congress decided that they would remove all whatever in terms of sex orientation or whatever in our language, in, in terms of the rules of the House of Representatives, uh, where a mother can't be called a mother and a father can't be called a father and a brother can't be called a brother. And some of this is so nonsensical that it's just really kind of hard to even take without responding almost violently to this kind of stuff. But what we know is the stuff out here, the things that people decide that they know, their ideas, their changing culture, the changing morality, what we know is that does not define us. We're not defined by what culture says, a particular political person says. We're defined by the one who created us a heavenly father who has made all of this that we stand in, all that we are privileged to enjoy. He is the one who defines us. He is the one who made male and female. He is the one that said it's not good for a man to be alone. He's the one that sent the angel and told Mary that she was going to have a child and that the one that she carried would be God. He's the one that established male and female and family and husband and wife. We're going to be defined by him and not by what the world out here tells us. Let me reread this for you just as we uh, depart for today. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord, who is seated on high, and who looks down on the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes. With the princes of his people, he gives a barren woman a home and makes her the joyous mother of children. Praise the Lord. You and I, uh, we are the children of the Most High God. If you're listening to me right now and you've not made that decision for Jesus Christ, as you make it today, you will be born from above and become a child of the Most High God, a son or a daughter of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That's where our definition comes from. The one who created us, loves us, sent his son to redeem us, and with whom we will spend all eternity as children in our Father's house. This is Bread from the Beach. Be blessed.